Have you ever walked into a tall building and noticed those little signs that say, fire exit? Most of us glance at them and move on. We assume the building is safe, that it's been designed to protect us if anything ever goes wrong. But what does fire safe actually mean? What's happening behind those walls, under those floors, and inside the ceilings that gives us that protection? When we think about building safety, we usually think of earthquake resistance, structural strength, or maybe even security systems. Fire safety, though, is just as critical, and in some cases, even more urgent. Fires can spread fast. Sometimes within minutes, entire floors can be engulfed. That's where fire-resistant materials come in. They don't just slow the spread, they buy us time. And in a fire, time means lives. So let's learn about the importance of fire-resistant materials in buildings, right here on History of Simple Things. Before we talk about how buildings protect us, let's understand the threat. Fires inside buildings usually begin in very ordinary ways. Faulty wiring, unattended stoves, overloaded outlets, or even a forgotten candle. But once something catches fire, it can spread quickly. Flames feed on whatever materials are nearby. Wood, plastic, furniture, curtains, anything that burns. As the fire grows, it produces heat and smoke, both of which can be just as deadly as the flames. Heat travels upward and outward. That's why fires in lower floors or basements are especially dangerous. Heat rises and it can spread to floors above in seconds. If the building's materials aren't designed to withstand that kind of heat, they can collapse or catch fire themselves. Smoke, meanwhile, spreads even faster it seeps through vents, stairwells, and elevator shafts. It can disorient people trying to escape and make it difficult for firefighters to find those who are trapped. In fact, in many building fires, more people die from smoke inhalation than from direct burns. So how do architects and engineers design buildings that are fire safe? The idea isn't to make a building fireproof, that's virtually impossible. Instead, the goal is to delay the spread of fire and allow time for people to evacuate and for emergency services to respond. This is where building codes, layout planning, and most importantly, fire-resistant materials come into play. Buildings are divided into compartments, basically fire zones, using fire-rated walls, ceilings, doors, and floors. These compartments help contain the fire in one section and prevent it from moving too fast to other parts of the structure. Think of it like watertight doors in a ship. One section might flood, but the others are sealed off. Let's shift the focus for a moment, away from the alarms and stairwells, and look at what buildings are made of. Because when it comes to fire safety, the materials used in construction aren't just choices of style or budget. They're potentially the difference between life and death. Not all materials react the same way to fire. Imagine a simple wooden beam. Wood, as we know, is combustible. It catches fire easily, and once it does, it fuels the flames. But what many people don't realize is that even wood can be treated to become more fire-resistant. With the right coating, it can slow down the spread of fire instead of feeding it. Then there's concrete. This one's a powerhouse when it comes to fire resistance. It doesn't burn. It doesn't release toxic fumes. And it insulates heat incredibly well. That's why concrete is the go-to material for high-rise buildings and essential infrastructure. It holds its own even under extreme temperatures and gives people inside more time to get out safely. Now think about drywall. Yes, those plain walls we see in almost every home and office. Many of them are made from gypsum board. What's fascinating about gypsum is that it actually contains water within its crystal structure. So, 
When exposed to fire, that water turns into steam. This natural reaction slows down the transfer of heat and helps delay the fire spread. Fire-rated gypsum board can hold out for up to two hours in intense heat, two hours that could mean everything in an emergency. And then there's glass. We all know how quickly regular glass shatters under heat, but fire-rated glass is in a different league. It's specially treated so that it doesn't break immediately when exposed to high temperatures. In some cases, it can hold out for up to 90 minutes, containing the fire and protecting hallways, stairwells, or rooms on the other side. Steel is another material that often surprises people. You'd think it's indestructible, but in reality, steel begins to lose its strength when it gets too hot. That's why architects don't just leave it bare. They wrap steel frames with protective materials or spray them with a special fire-resistant coating. These coatings are designed to expand when heated, creating a thick insulating layer that shields the steel underneath from the heat. And then there's something that sounds more like a science experiment than a building material, intumescent paint. This paint isn't about color or finish, it's a silent guardian. When fire hits, it reacts by swelling up into a thick foam-like barrier. That layer acts like armor, insulating whatever it's covering, often steel beams or even wood, keeping the structural integrity intact for just a little longer. All of these materials, whether solid like concrete or reactive like intumescent coatings, have one thing in common, they give us time. Time to evacuate, time for firefighters to arrive, time to prevent disaster from turning into tragedy. Because in the face of fire, time is the most valuable thing a building can offer. Apart from walls and floors, there are specific systems designed to enhance fire safety. Fire doors are a big one. These are not your ordinary wooden doors. They're heavy, sealed, and fire rated. Their job is to keep fire and smoke from moving into escape routes like hallways or stairwells. When closed, they can hold back a fire for 30 to 90 minutes, depending on the rating. Stairwells in fire safe buildings are pressurized and separated from the rest of the building. This prevents smoke from entering, keeping them clear for safe evacuation. There are also passive fire systems, like fire dampers and HVAC ducts, fire-rated cable trays, and fire-stopping sealants around plumbing or wiring penetrations. These are hidden details, but they make a huge difference when every second counts. Fire safety is often invisible, we don't notice it until we need it. But the best buildings are designed so that if the worst ever happens, people can walk out alive. So the next time you step into a building, an office tower, a hotel, a mall, take a moment to appreciate the engineering behind the walls. Fire safety isn't about luck. It's about smart design, tested materials, and systems that work together to keep people safe. Because in a fire, every second counts. And fire-resistant materials? They're not just a feature, they're lifesavers. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.